We must be able to trust that our elections accurately represent the will of the American voter. The debate as to the legitimacy of the 2020 presidential election has been suppressed by the left and is propagandist in the media until today. In going around the deadline set by the legislature, the court ignored the Arizona legisla legislature's obligation and right to direct the manner for choosing presidential electors as set forth in Article 2, Section 1. As a consequence of that judicial usurpation, more than 32,000 people were allowed to unlawfully cast ballots in Arizona's presidential election in 2020. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I, I, I rise in opposition uh, to the objection. To continue uh, a baseless, conspiracy-fueled uh, threat to our democracy uh, makes no sense because there is no viable constitutional or legal path to overturn the election. Arizona and state and local officials did an unbelievable job to ensure that the 220 elections ran smoothly. Uh, Mr. Hickman, the Republican chairman of the Maricopa uh, County Party, the largest county in the state of Arizona said, no matter how you voted, this election was administered with integrity, transparency, and in accordance with state laws. My ask to you, the speaker, to the vice president is simple. Do not count these electors until and unless the secretary of state allows a forensic audit of the election, a request she has denied repeatedly. Eight challenges contesting the Arizona election were brought to federal and state courts. All eight were withdrawn or dismissed including a unanimous ruling by the Arizona Supreme Court. The Chief Justice wrote, the challenge fails to present any evidence of misconduct or illegal votes. Today there was treason in this house. Today there was traitors in this house. Time for you to save your country. That man at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue will forget you. He will use you and he will dump you to the side. But what will be left will be the stain the stain of democracy that you are engaging in right now. Listen to yourselves. So what do we have to show for this process today? Fear, a lockdown, violence, and regrettably and sadly death. In Arizona, this process was administered and overseen by officials from both parties. Elections officials conducted random and counted audits of many precincts that confirmed there were no errors that would change the result of the election. Now is the time to come together to preserve our de democracy and to protect our national security.